YouTube.com and um <laughs> hope you have a wonderful Easter weekend or should I say a couple weeks as, as much as we all do so <laughs> I don't know where to begin well I have no clue whatsoever so that's why I was so worn out to be seriously I was worn out and here's the purpose you don't want to know about this one um I have no clue whatsoever and um and all that stuff so trust me about that but anyways uh this is what i uh did for easter for for, for my opinions and i and i do say this because um every time i usually go to church on sunday sundays and all that stuff but I usually go to Christmas Memorial for this Monday, Thursday thing. And, um, I think because uh, this could be the last one for Monday, Thursday. So you just had to trust me about that. And, um, at least the after, in the afterlife. Because it always seems to matter about this one. Because it can happen to everyone to go on Monday, Thursday and be washing your feet or whatever it is. So, <laughs> this is what happens I, I did. Yeah, I hope so. Then on Good Friday, I just try to get up and make my bed, take a quick shower, a shower and, uh, and, um, get my two tacos. And anyways, uh, back to Goods Memorial for this, uh, you know here, that's right. For this Good Friday service, that's what, uh, you know, I sang, sang with my, sang with Barb Carlson, Goods Memorial Lutheran Church Choir, and, uh, and it went long for three hours. Hours, and, uh, and the, you know, the last one, Dr. Eileen Brick Sullivan, oh, she's not here. She's not here uh, yesterday, not yesterday, oh yeah, last Friday. And um, here's something you don't want to know about this one, because she's not here, because Richard Hauser is is the last uh, meditative speaker at Creighton, Univer Creighton University. Oh yeah, I know. After Pastor Schneider, it's uh, Schneider, could be his last one to speak for this uh, sixth word. As far as we're concerned, trust me about that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, it was it was fun while I last and all that stuff, so it just had to trust me about that. Anyways, um, that's that. That and, um, now, and no, last Saturday, I was singing, singing with Tony Ward and St. John's Parish Music Ministries for uh, Easter Vigil, and uh, you know the you know, I like the hardest pieces, the Exultant, and uh, <laughs> did I hear a phone ring? Oh, I hope so. But anyways, this is the salt uh, and um oh god, this is gonna be good, and um this is good and and here's your worst nightmare, ever. Why do I get the feeling that I punch those words and so and uh, and Tony says sings and uh, and I have no clue whatsoever. So it was fun. It lasted two hours, two and a half hours. And I, <laughs> boy. And I uh, go downstairs, have a few 
Deception. We have a wonderful time with uh, Rock and Nancy and Mark and the rest of St. John's Parish Music Ministries and staff and whatever it is. I said, and then I gotta go home, get some sleep, and I uh, get some sleep and um, all that stuff. I think I, get, I gotta get some sleep, whatever it is. Then on Sunday morning, last yesterday Sunday morning, is it? But yes, I gotta get up and get dressed. And look what happens! Oh my God! What time is it? Oh yes, it's it's six thirty. It's it's. 6.45, you gotta be there at church. Oh yeah, I understand. So, it's gonna be outrageous. Outrageous. You just have to trust me about that. So I get a gob and get dressed and go to, go to two services. But for your information, one is this memorial, and the other one is you know who, Resurrection. That's why I'm singing a hallelujah chorus with Barb and company. And then, Resurrection. Sing with my church choir and all that stuff. And um, have a brunch and, <laughs> and last but not least, back to, uh, I gotta go to UNL. I can do my website and all that stuff, so. Trust me about that because I gotta update my website and whatever it is. So, who needs it anyways? <laughs> anyways, anyways, it's a wonderful time. Just, just getting to know everyone, and um, <laughs> you might say that uh, that the only thing that happens is, yeah, getting yeah, a church on time is not bad. Gosh, I only got to sneeze. And, um, oh gosh. No, oh, just one second. Just, hold on, just a second. Time out. Be back, right back. Right back. Where was I? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Now I know this is going to be outrageous. It was I put my glasses on first. And then I take out my glasses. So, I know, glasses on, glasses on whatever is off on whatever. <laughs> so, it was a wonderful time. And uh, that's why I'm back for an all-new Time Factor website. And so is my... Final closing time for video comes three thoughts, but don't worry. I'll be with you. Okay? Trust me about that. Oh boy. <clears throat> hmm. Speaking of back to normal size. Guys, did you know that um Reverend Wright unleashed? Oh yes. Allah, Yahweh are the same as and Clarence Thomas is worshiping the other. God, this, this is ridiculous. Come on. This is absolutely positively ridiculous. Trust me about that. Oh, gosh. But anyways, this is going to be worse. Worse. Anyways, um... Anyways, uh, I think that's about it. I hope so. 
well, that's it, because I gotta get out of here and do some busy work. But, but, but before we leave, before we leave you, leave you guys hanging on a thread, thread, did you know that Mike Wallace, that's right, Mike Wallace just died at the age of you know who, that's right, the age at Cooper, we build tires for people. Not you know who, that's right. Six to ninety-three. I bet he's a journalist for CBS News. I hope so. Well. Uh, well, why don't you take a look and watch this before it does, according to Wall Street Journal. Mike Wallace was known as a pit bull reporter, a dogged interviewer who took on world leaders and celebrities with a blistering confrontational interview style. In his 60-year career, he won numerous journalism awards and helped make the CBS News magazine 60 Minutes one of the most successful primetime television news programs of all time. He describes you almost. Mr. Wallace started his career in entertainment on the radio in the 1940s before he moved on to game and interview shows on television and to 60 Minutes in 1968 when the program started. Throughout his career, Mr. Wallace built his reputation as a sharp-witted, tough journalist who became as famous as those whom he interviewed. He was honored with some of the most prestigious awards in journalism, among them 21 Emmy Awards. Mr. Wallace died Saturday night at the age of 93 at a care facility in Connecticut where he had lived in recent years. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Monica Vusuk. Wow, this is going to be good. Well, I'll explain this on my final calls in Time Factor Friday video comes to your thoughts. Which are back this Friday. If I upload this, would you? Anyways, I really gotta go, but I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, I guess, and that's why. Oh yes, did you know that Keith Overman fired current TV? Oh lord, this is so silly. Now he wants to sue current TV. That's right, for a lawsuit. So who's to blame? That's tomorrow. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't forget to don't forget on April twenty sixth and twenty seventh. Big season finales of my final closing time factor video commentary thoughts. And so is my all new final closing time factor Friday video commentary thoughts. So I'll, I'll explain this tomorrow. But that could be brand, that could be season finales on April twenty sixth and April twenty seventh. Okay. So I'll let you know that uh, I'll explain it tomorrow, whatever it is. Anyways, don't forget to Facebook me up. Follow me at Facebook.com slash LH Music Time. And so is Twitter.com slash LH Music Time. And check my website, LH Music Time Factor. .com, the real conservative truth lives here, which is back to normal size. No questions about it? I hope so. Anyways, I really gotta go. And it's good to be back here. Because I'm here. Trust me about that. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, LH Music America's level of football Christian server for signing off. Go God's blessings. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>